a blending of the cultural food practices of China, Cambodia, and France. One feature that distinguishes this cuisine from others is the use of aromatic herbs and vegetables, partly due to the strong vegetarian tradition rooted in Buddhism. While herbs and vegetables are the star of the plate, meat is also included in many dishes. On our next flight, we will take a quick trip across the Midwest to visit with Tina Lam, who works for the University of Illinois Chicago as the Assistant Director of the Dietetics Coordinated Program and is the President-Elect for the Illinois Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Xin Jiao. My name is Tina Lam and I'm a Vietnamese American registered dietitian based out of Chicago, Illinois. I currently work for University of Illinois Chicago as an assistant director for their coordinated program in dietetics. I was born in Vietnam, but came to the U.S. when I was around two years old. My parents always cook the best Vietnamese food at home, and today I want to share a little bit of that with you as far as my family's food culture and what we grew up eating. So let's start off with some Vietnamese staples such as noodle soup dishes, rice plates, banh mi, kanji, and my personal favorite, spring rolls. And when I said kanji, it's like a rice soup and we call it chow, but we'll go into that in a little bit more later. <laughs> um, depending on where you are in Vietnam, the dishes can vary a lot in flavor profiles and level of spiciness. I'm sure many people know the more popular Vietnamese noodle dish called pho, also known as beef noodle soup. Um, this can also be made with chicken or seafood or even be made vegetarian. However, there are plenty of other types of noodle soups in Vietnam that are super popular as well such as bong bò hue, which is a hue style beef noodle soup, which has a deeper, spicier kick to it than pho does. Um, hu thiu, which is a clear pork-based soup, sometimes topped with pork belly and seafood. Um, one of my other favorites is bong riu, which is a seafood, specifically crab noodle soup that has a kick to it as well. Um, there's also ban gan, which is a noodle soup that uses rice noodles that are very similar to udon in texture and look, but sometimes it's made with pork and sometimes it's made with seafood. Um, and then different types of ban gan, some people actually add in a little bit of coconut milk to give it a little bit of creaminess as well, which is delicious either way. Um, the noodles used in each of these soup dishes can vary from white rice noodles that are thin to thick rice noodles or even thicker egg noodles as well. Another thing that the dishes have in common is that they're typically served with fresh herbs and veggies. And actually this goes for either the noodle, soup dishes or rice dishes. There's always fresh herbs and veggies on the side. So you'll find a lot of things like cilantro or Thai basil, culantro, um, bean sprouts. Um, there's so many other ones that I can't remember all the names of it. And especially I know it in Vietnamese, but I don't always know the English translation of it. Um, but tons of herbs and spices, always, you know, green onions to add, garlic, onions, things like that as well. Um, but so I talked about some of the noodle do soup dishes. Let's talk about some of the rice plates, right? So a lot of the rice plates um, are called gum tam, and they use these types of rice called broken rice. And they're a lot smaller grain than a regular rice that you would find in a you know, black. So it's like a it's a specialized kind of type of rice, it's broken, but there's small little pieces of rice, but you get like a nice little serving of it. And usually it comes with like a grilled pork, sometimes an egg and pork loaf. Um, I would say probably some more fresh herbs and veggies, a side of fish sauce that has garlic and lime juice and peppers and um, really nice to put over the entire rice dish. Um, other things that you'll find in Vietnamese food culture that's really popular and has a French influence as well is banh mi. So if you have like a nice French, like a mini French baguette, and then it has usually like mayonnaise, some type of pork or shrimp or chicken that's in there. Um, and then pickled veggies. So pickled carrots and daikon are usually on top of it along with cilantro as well. Um, very, very good. And then I think they usually have like a liver pate that they spread on it too. But you'll find tons of these stalls in Vietnam, which are called banh mi. And um, if you ever find it in the restaurants, I would highly suggest trying it because they're great. 
Um, another dish that I had mentioned previously was the kanji or what we call jiao. So this is like kind of like a por like a rice porridge, if you would imagine. And you can have it plain, where it's completely plain white, just white rice in it that's soupy. And then they would pair it with like saltier dishes, like saltier cuts of meats or seafood. Um, or they would do like a ground beef jiao. So they would put ground beef inside or ground pork, actually. Usually it's ground pork inside this jiao um, or seafood and um, so many other types of jiao, like chicken with a salad on the side. Oh, there's so many different ones. But people can eat any of these dishes um, at any time. So we don't really have like a specific egg or yeah, an egg type of breakfast that you would normally think of in like American culture. Um, but usually we kind of, you can eat your pho for breakfast or you can eat the rice plates for breakfast or a bun mi or jiao or whatever you want for breakfast lunch, dinner, snack, anything in between, right? So there's no specific food for that specific time. And then um, we also have spring rolls, which are some of my favorite types of, um, my favorite type of food to make. So for the spring rolls, it's a rice paper wrapper that you can put anything you want inside of it. So usually there's what, like a white rice noodle that goes in there. And then you can also put in whatever meats you have, like grilled meats, shrimp, pork, um, chicken, whatever you have, or tofu if you want to do a vegetarian spring roll. And then usually lots of fresh vegetables and herbs again. So your lettuce, your carrots, your cucumbers, um, cilantro, Thai basil, things like that. Okay. And then those spring rolls usually get paired with some kind of dipping sauce, so nuk jam, um, or a fish sauce that usually has the fish sauce, lime juice, uh, garlic, peppers, and a little bit of water to dilute it, but any of those would work. Another really great dipping sauce is kind of like a mock peanut sauce. It tastes like a peanut sauce, and some people add peanuts to it, and some people don't, but usually it's kind of like a mix of hoisin sauce and coconut um, milk, like a thick coconut milk, and hoisin sauce, which is really delicious. Okay, so those are just a few of some of my favorite dishes. I hope you get to a Vietnamese restaurant sometime soon and get to try it. Um, there's tons in Chicago. If you're ever around Chicago area, there's a whole area called Uptown that has all these amazing Vietnamese specific um, restaurants that you can try out. So I hope you get to, you know, check them out this summer. Hopefully everything will be more open. But yeah, that's about it. Have a good rest of your day. Take care.